Good morning, how's it going? Let's pick up the dog, put down the dog, and check the television to see what's gonna be on today. We have a whole bunch of different things going on, like the sun rising, and having some fish in my inventory. Go get the ball, doggy. There we go. Now that the dog's been sated and he'll be able to do his training in becoming the best, most powerful dog ever, we can put the fish away because we need the fish for the, you know, future of all harvest mooning. Let's do this. We got two that we can put into the thing. I think we have more, actually. Yeah, look at that. We have a secret stash. Let's move these together so we can actually see how many we can put into the pond in the spring, which is a total of five fish. So that's pretty cool. We're going to make sure we take care of the horse today and everything else is going to be going according to plan. I don't know what the date is today. I think it's the 20th of winter, so I should probably make sure there's no events or anything going on, and I might want to give each Harvest Sprite a piece of wood, because I'm trying to maintain my friendship. I'm not really growing it at this point. So the... I think that was the red one that took it, not the orange one. And that was definitely the orange one. They're both pretty happy with their situation. The red one takes his time for some reason, even though he's supposed to be the most trained. He likes to just run around and do whatever he wants all the time, but that's okay. He's entitled to do what he wants, I suppose. The horse is here. Horse is doing pretty good. He's happy. He's always happy being locked up in here, but that's okay. So, I need to start taking some initiative and trying to get Popery to like me more, because it's about that time that these things are going to have to happen. So, we're going to take the honey. I'm going to sell the honey. It's part of it's part of life, you know. So, we're going to throw that in there. Sell that and we're going to go get some eggs from the chickens and then we can try to befriend some more people. And I think it's time that we pay a little bit more attention to the I don't know what I'm talking about actually. Let's pick up all these eggs. Actually, do I have anything in my inventory? Nope. Clean inventory. I don't really need to help them feed the chickens, but I'm going to. I'm already here. I might as well do a good deed. I can let them feed the last chicken, but I'm not going to bother other than that. It's going to do one inventory full just to help them get along with their day. So, let's sell all the... Oh, I almost threw it on the ground. My fingers did all the buttons backwards. It's very weird. Like a confused muscle memory. One more item. One right here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do everything. Because I'm a good owner. Let's pick up all these eggs. The gold one I can sell, I'll keep the rest. I'll pick up the gold one last so I can just sell it. It's worth some good money, you know? got to sell what you can, when you can. So let's pick all these up. And I'll sell a couple. I actually gotta sell all of them, but you know how it goes. I need to get some a mayonnaise maker or something so I can start making real good money. So if I do this right, I have... I'm gonna sell five... I messed up. I messed up hitting the wrong buttons. Let's sell the gold egg first. One, two, three, four. I should still have... Yep. I'm gonna take the extra egg and use it as a gift. For I don't know who. Someone's going to get it, though. Someone's going to get an extra gift. And they're going to be happy with it. They're going to be like, Hey, thank you for the extra gift. And I'll say, You're welcome, kind citizen. And they'll be in a good mood for the rest of the day. So let's go up here. Popery should be arriving soon. I think they arrive around 7.30. Other than that, I think my house upgrades are on the way. So that's kind of cool. Let's just keep selling these. Got a couple of them. I got three. One for each of my friends. They'll get up here eventually. I don't think it's actually snowing, is it? I don't see any snow. There it is. There's Anne. Popery is usually quick to follow. They both get an egg because they're both pretty cool. Is that for me? Wow, thank you. See, she's got a blue heart. Not even trying. And then Popery here. There you go. I'm go Ooh, yellow! I think she's had yellow. I'm not sure, but I'm doing pretty good, I think. I don't know who else likes these. Ah! I didn't mean to hit you with an axe, Popery. I mean, I, I didn't, but I almost did. I mean, I'd still be kind of upset if someone swung an axe really close to me, you know? Close range proximity. It's very dangerous to have an axe swung at you. I mean, I wouldn't know. I've used a log splitter before, but I've never had, like... I don't know if anyone's ever been, like, swinging axes around me. This sounds like an accident waiting to happen, especially because I hear, like, axes... Like, it's possible that the end of the axe could come flying off on the downswing. It's terrifying. Let's just keep chopping all these stumps and not, not think about that right now. We'll think about something else, like not getting in, impaled by that. So I'm gonna give whoever's in here, which is nobody, an egg. So we're gonna go into town, I think. 
I'm not really prepared for... Let's see, I have I have plenty of wood now, so we're good in that respect. I should start mining so that I can, you know, make a lot of money off of the winter. Because in the spring, I'm going to be planting tons of things. We only have 10 days left, so I need as much money as possible. I should be trying to fill out my barn, but like I said, I'm kind of more or less waiting. I think they open at 10. No? Is it a holiday today? Like, am I forgetting something? Because they're usually open Thursdays, right? Or maybe they're not. I'm try giving someone else a boiled egg. Let's see. I'm going to give Saibara a boiled egg. He's close, too. Something's going on here. I think something horrible is happening. We're going to have to go inside and we're going to have to check. We're going to check on this. Make sure there's nothing nefarious going on. Go in here. So how is everybody doing today? That's my small talk for the video while I'm waiting for the loading screen. Today is not a holiday. It's just a normal day. This is nothing special. No one's birthday. It's nothing. So I don't know what the meaning of this is. What kind of horrible thing they're talking about. So I think what we're going to do... I could concentrate on fishing too. I do need fish, uh, 50, 50 fish. I have 9. Are they breeding in there still? Now that I think about it, because I don't remember there being nine in there. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. There's a lot of possibilities. I think instead we're going to just fish today. I know I said I wanted to make a bunch of money, but let's just do this instead. And hopefully I can get my reaction time pretty good. I got a fish! That's cool. That's one fish. I need to, I need to eventually pray to Carter or whatever so I can... Ah! So I can try to absolve myself so I can get some better fishing rates. I don't know if how much litter it takes to really mess you up, though. Like, I don't know how much of a... Like, how it stacks. Like, is one or two litters going to ruin everything, or is it more than that that causes a problem? You got a boot. You can't litter on your own farm, though, so I can safely throw the boots on the ground here. I just can't do it in town or in people's houses, which are the two places you can't do it. If you do it in town or on people's houses, you will lose friendship with... I don't know if it's just them or if it's with everybody, but I don't really want to risk it. You know, I got two fish in one day. You know, if, it, if I just kind of space out and fish and just kind of let my instinct take over, take over, kind of like a dinosaur, just kind of space out and think about, like, your next meal. Ah, uh, man, I, I blinked. I did, like, one of those things where you blink for a long time because your eyes are getting tired. And then I missed it. I opened my eyes to see my character doing the animation. Like the same... We're making the same facial expression, I'm pretty sure. Right there. Oh, wow, that was really, really fast. That was insane. There's no way. You know, this minigame, this fishing minigame, is kind of designed to really throw you off. Because you're kind of just waiting for nothing, if you think about it. Like... It's going to mess you up, your focus, because nothing happens for so long that when it does, it kind of startles you. Because you kind of get into like a spacey, like... It's hard to stay focused when there's nothing to observe. It's like watching a tree, but there's no movement, and then something jumps out suddenly, but you don't know when it's going to happen, but it waits until you're not paying attention anymore to jump out. That's, what ha that's what's happening here. I'm doing lots of fishing, though. I'm getting better with the catching rate, I guess, as long as it isn't too bad. Let's try it again. Hopefully things will go according to plan. We'll go swimmingly like a fish. One, two, three, bite. One, two, three, bite. Come on. I need you to bite the fishing line. I'm going to do this. I believe in it. I'm not going to look away. It's very difficult. Like, I think after a while you start to think that it's not actually working. Because, like, will it ever bite at this point? Like, I think there's some swings where they'll, they'll just never bite. Let's do it again. And if we get lucky, they'll they'll bite the line. Let's see. You ready to pull the fish out? And three, two... It's also weird that you're not pressing a button, you're unpressing a button. You know, it's like you're pressing it down, and then you let go, and then it goes. It's very strange and backwards, in my opinion, in a weird way. But it's kind of fun still. I mean, it's like you're, you're releasing. It's kind of like pulling in a weird way. Zach's going to be here any second now, so... Hi, Zach. Hope you enjoy. I'll take the produce that's in the bin. Aw oh, man, I didn't deserve that one. That one I definitely deserve not to get. 
I think I, I think the harvest sprite should be done by now. I should probably pay more attention to when they're gonna be ready to go. Maybe. Ah man, whatever. I got a couple things today. I'm gonna throw all these on the ground. It doesn't count as littering on your own farm, don't worry. It's okay. It's okay to do this on your own land. I checked. Harvest Goddess will not be mad at me today. They should give you a garbage can on your farm. I'd be into that. So it's time to go to bed. I'm not gonna really stay up late. No real reason to. We're gonna be working our way through the winter, you know? We gotta get out of here. Too much winter. Winter is so long. It's two days too long, in my opinion. It should be 28 days of winter. Okay. What is in the fridge? I'm gonna look around. Well, I'm gonna put an egg in the- I don't need a spa- but I'm gonna keep the spa boiled egg as a gift for somebody. So we have two extra fish. It's gonna be doing some goodness. I'm gonna pick up this ball and we're gonna go to bed. But surprisingly, I'm not going to- I'm not gonna stop the game today. I'm just gonna keep going. We're doing more than one day because I'm crazy now. I have fallen into a pit of insanity and we will keep on going. One day at a time. Two days at a time. This time is two days, so I'm gonna go down here. That's my anti-blizzard technology right there. So we're gonna be saving the game and moving into another day. But I'm gonna say good morning to you because I'm nice. You ready? Good morning, everybody. Let's check the television today and see what's on the TV. Uh, tomorrow's weather forecast is snow. No, not a blizzard, just snow. Don't throw the egg. The dog does not want to catch the egg. We're gonna make the dog the best dog ever. Let's throw this over here. I want to pick up the dog. I think he's getting better. He's getting more intelligent over time. We don't have anything to worry about until the 24th, which is the, the Star Night Festival, so we can look up and gaze at the stars together like a bunch of friends. I wonder how much more time the Harvest Brights have, the two that are working. I don't want to... There's only one working right now, so I need to go back and capture Chef. Get him back under my wing. But until then, I can definitely give the orange one a, a better present than a piece of wood. Hopefully. Bam. Yay! He loves it! We're becoming good friends already. So we're gonna go in here. I can't wait to get the last house upgrade. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna get it in the spring sometime, because I don't want to waste all my money. Let's talk to the horse. Gotta keep him in a good spot. Don't want to lose the horse, you know? We gotta stay best friends. I think he's at 10 hearts now. I think him and the dog have been for a while, so let's look. Yeah, see, they're good. We don't gotta worry about them too much. So we're gonna go... Do the usual trend, which would be to go give Potpourri an egg. And since there's only one of them, I am going to help them in here again. And I don't think I can sell... I don't know if I can sell spa boiled eggs, can I? Oh, I can. Cool. I wonder if I should do that. I wonder if I save money by doing that. Or if I make money. Now, I should be talking to all the cows and sheep because they aren't going to gain any hearts this method that I've been using of not paying any attention to them ever. It's not exactly the best strategy. But I am trying my best, but... I mean, I don't really have anything else to do in this winter, but I should be going in there and talking to them. They've got four and three hearts, respectively, each. They're doing pretty good. I mean, they could be better. Mostly, I only need the Harvest Sprite to take care of the them cows and stuff, because it's just too hard to walk around in a barn, especially once I fill it up. Because pretty soon, that's going to be completely full. So, I don't know when. Probably when I get grass, so I don't have to pay, you know, pay all that money for fodder all the time. It's not that much, but it, it adds up. I think it's like, what, 20g a day? And if I have 20 cows, that's a lot of money. So, I have 10. Let's pick this egg up. Maybe. Maybe it'll pick it up. Oh no! Oh well. I lost some money there today. Threw it right on the ground. It was like, it wouldn't pick it up, and I just started mashing the A button. Then he, then he decided to pick it up, and then I just threw it on the ground. At least I could sell the spy boiled eggs, too. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go out there now. Going down, looking for people to talk to in this area. Popery and Anne, specifically, respectively. You know, I'm gonna find it interesting, but I believe when I get the greenhouse, that's made out of glass as well. That is made out of glass, but you use wood to build the greenhouse, which is quite, 
quite fascinating, in my opinion. Let's throw this down. And do it once more. We have to wait for them. Anne should be here. There you go. Here's a gift for you, Anne. That is definitely for you. And then Popery, who needs her own spa boiled egg for some reason. Here you go. Thank you, I like this very much. I don't think I've seen any of her hearts, though. Or any of her cutscenes, so I don't know how that's going to work out. But once I get her to red, I'll worry about it. I don't need to worry about it until then. And I'm not going to be friend Kai or anything, so I don't got to worry about him swooping in. And he doesn't come back till summer anyway, and by then it will be too late. Wahahaha. <laughs> Let's chop all these stumps. We're going to get through this winter together. It's going to be great. Getting into year two is going to be its own adventure. Its own reward. Year two. I always, one of my favorite things about winter is when winter ends and then the grass is back and you can see all the green and it looks really weird because you're used to seeing white everywhere. It's very interesting. Um, it was very shocking in Harvest Moon, the Lost Valley where it's, you get stuck in winter and it was winter for like my entire first year. And when I finally got out of winter, Wow, the green. You don't even get to see green before. Like, the game starts in winter, so... Yeah, it's very jarring. I'm gonna try to give presents to Popery's mom as well. I need to get in good graces with the family since they are going to be my family soon. But they're still closed. Don't know what's up about that. I thought they were open at 10, but maybe they open up at 11, so... It might be in my best interest just to walk around and kind of spy on the farm and see what I can see. There's a nice water wheel here. It looks almost identical to mine. It's spinning in the water. It looks pretty good. Like, I can believe that it's a real thing. And if I look over here, I can't go in here, I don't think. It's locked. You can't even acknowledge the door. So that's its own, its own problem right there. And Rick locked the door behind him, even though he saw me probably running around in his farm. And Popery, what are you doing here? I admire the way you run the farm on your own. Thank you, Popery. It's very nice of you. Can I go in now? Can I enter? Yay! Now I can visit. That was the whole point of this, was for me to visit. So I can give your mama f uh, an egg. Thank you, Etza. That wasn't the reaction I wanted, but I guess you're probably not that impressed with eggs, are you? I don't need any of this stuff. I know, you don't move around much, but you did good. So we're off on Sundays. I guess it is around, it's not really noon right now. I'll talk to Rick. Rick probably likes boiled eggs, right? I like every one. I know, I always tell you about this, don't I? Nah. Okay. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to get married next year, too. That's gonna be its own its own reward of excitement. Oh, we have to go hire the Harvest Sprite before it's too late. Thank you for reminding me. I totally would have forgot otherwise about this Harvest Sprite issue. So we gotta run full speed ahead. We gotta run as fast as our legs can carry us, because if we don't, we'll never make it in time. It's a very long distance away. We gotta run forever and a day. It's only the 21st of winter today. That's not a good song. Okay. So it's time for us to do the good old fashioned picking up all the flowers. Actually, I'm just gonna keep you on the line today. We're gonna pick them all up together. Because... This is an important time for us to bond with a Harvest Sprite. I'm gonna hire the red one, but I'm gonna give gifts to a different one. And I don't know which one I'm gonna give it to, but one of them is going to be quite happy. Now, unfortunately, the first day of spring is also a holiday, so I can't plant right away in the spring, but I think they expect that to be a problem. So I'm really excited to see what kind of organization and enterprise I can get going on the first day of spring. And it's gonna be it's gonna be its own thing, you know, all the time. So, I think once you get the greenhouse, all the seeds are showing all the time. I think I'm not entirely sure, but it's like, wow, you're stocking your entire store based on what I have and don't have. That's pretty cool, I guess. It's kind of interesting he sells seeds anyway, considering I'm the only farmer. But where does he even get the stock? And what does Jeff like? I feel like I want to be friends with Jeff so I can go into the back of the house. There's probably something cool back there. One of the things I like about Harvest Moon is all these, like, when you become friends with people you can spy on their house. It's awesome. Like, that's a that's a cool bonus for being friends with people, getting to rummage through their belongings. 
Now, I know I, know I didn't want to do this too much, because I'm trying to gain money, not spend it. Especially this close to spring, got nine days left, but I feel like whenever I, ha whenever I hire somebody, I should at least give them a bunch of flour. So that's like, what, twice a week I have to do it? It's not that expensive, I think it'll be fine. Let's go in here. I have to see which Harvest Sprite needs my, like, help the most. You know, so we're gonna look in the menu and see. Whoever's the lowest, I think, needs to get some stuff from me. So I think that'd be the yellow one, or the light, no, no, the light blue one, because I definitely always hire the light blue one to water my crops. So we're just gonna give them all a gift. Here you go. Light blue is the best. I think dark blue is the best, but that's your opinion. Here you go. I keep giving you all these. I don't want to tell you something to make you upset because you are a warrior. A warrior of water. And you will become my good friend. I'm going to give one of these to the yellow one since it doesn't like me very much. Just because I think the first gift is still worth more to the harvest sprites. And in the spring I want to collect relaxation tea leaves so I will be coming down here and... Oh, I can't do that while they're working for me though. Hmm. That's a little tricky. I'm gonna have to like let them all go at the same time and take care of the animals myself. The light blue one now likes me four and the yellow one also likes me four. So the least liked is four now, so that's good. Um, I need you to come work on my farm. Yes. None of them involve cooking, please don't cook my animals. So on and so on. I need you to take care of the animals. And I need you to work for an entire week starting tomorrow. All right, I'll do my best. I'll get up early and make lunch. Now, hopefully I can go in here and talk to Carter and confess about my accidental littering inside of, ouch, inside of the store. I just smacked my desk with my hand because I itched my, my forehead. So that's kind, of, that's kind of an itch. All right, Carter, go in there. I need to confess. I have things to do. I need, I need to confess. Ah, good day. The church has a basement. That's where I sleep. I know, that's cool. That's fascinating. Please go into the basement so I can confess I've done some horrible things and I really want to be able to fish good and I can't until you let me until you let me confess my problems. I'm gonna try to go back at 2 and check again. I don't know what time he's in there. I don't think it's early in the morning. I think it's in the afternoon. It's hard to tell though. Is it only like a one hour window or what? I don't know. Let's try fishing in this direction. That'll be interesting. Oh man, I see I would have gotten something if I hadn't been a big litterer. I think you get more stuff in the ocean than you do in the river, but I'm not sure. I mean, you don't get more varieties, but... Maybe the waters are the same, but then why would you even bother fishing in the ocean? I think you can get a power berry in the ocean. So I guess that's part of a reason that it could be a thing, but... It's hard to tell for sure, you know? So, we're just gonna keep on fishing. Fishing along into the unknown. I want to at least try to catch one more thing that isn't garbage before we go talk to Carter again. And then I'm going to return at four if that doesn't work. Although I could probably just stand outside. I don't think he does it every day. Maybe he only does it one day a week. I should probably look into it maybe. It's going to be too late if I, do, if I wait too much longer. So I'm going to try to catch one more item. Nope, it failed. Probably because I'm a horrible litterer. Maybe at 3 p.m. he's in the basement. Maybe he's not. Maybe he never is. It's hard to tell. Let's go. Pasture Carter. There we go. Let's check. Is he home? Is he inside? Yes, he's still here. What time do I go in there? When do I talk to this man in private about the things I've done? You can't do it now because Stu and May are in there. He's not gonna be he's not gonna leave them alone. So, I still think throwing stuff in the garbage can should also remove your littering. Maybe if it's two points for littering, and then minus one for not littering, for unlittering. So, you know, you, it's not, it's still better to, you know, it's not like, oh, I can just throw one away. Not one for one, make it so you have to do a net positive, you know. Have a positive impact on the world. I'm gonna stay here till like five, I'm gonna stay here till six, if I have to. He's gotta come out of there eventually, right? They should put a time... Man, what is that fish that, he, like, instantly bites? I can never catch that one. Whatever that is, it's, like, so fast. It's like a split second. Like, I'm splitting atoms. It's, like, in between two frames of the game, there's, like, a fish that wants to bite. 
Just look at that. That's insane. Forget it. I'm going out of here. I'm leaving. No, no, no. Don't give up, Etza. You gotta, you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta fish from behind here. It's a much better spot. You'll catch a lot more stuff from behind the crates. I've learned this the hard way from hours and years of practice. I think this is a boot. See? It's a boot. Now I got a collection inside that garbage can. Who empties that garbage can? Today I'm a stream of consciousness and I don't know what to do about it. Let's just wait. Let's just be calm and collected and not... I got a medium fish. I never even caught a medium fish before, I don't think. That's the power of the crates. Getting behind the crates is everything that you need to do. I got a can. Alright, let's go try to talk to Carter again. And if he's closed, then I'm just going to go home and go to sleep. No sense in wasting any more time. He might only do it certain days of the week at certain times, and I just don't know when that is. It's kind of unfortunate, because I do have a plan. It's locked. Ah oh, man. I don't know when to get in there. Maybe it's early in the morning? Like, really early? Maybe I need to run up here, like, right away, perhaps. Keep the medium fish, sell the can. I wonder what everybody likes. I bet everybody goes to the little bar area at night, and I probably could go talk to all of them. Make some good friends. Not that I really need to. Who knows? We're just gonna go. Go on forever. Going into the unknown with all these chickens and all these friends. Horrible songs. I just keep singing all the time for some reason. I don't know why. It just kind of seeps in from the outside in. Alright, so I think we're home now, so we can go inside. I can pick up the ball, add the two medium... I got one medium fish, right? Put the one medium fish in the fridge. I'm afraid of leaving the ball out, because it like, likes to disappear. So I don't want it to do that again. So we're going to put the fish in here. At least we're going to be a good way of the way there for spring. And the better fishing pole catches fish better, so that's good. So, alright, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you in the morning.